Hey, we are here today with Mr. Joey Rhodes. And, uh, you know, we do these grower spotlights just to find out a little bit about uh, people who are growing chickens and uh, just seeing what makes them tick, how they do it, find little things that they do. So, uh, thanks for being with us today. Mr. Thank Joey. you for having me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So, how long you been in it? I was raised in the chicken business. We uh, had a farm here. Yeah, on and this we, property. We did table eggs okay. at our own private label. Yeah. And uh, shut that down in the early 80s as I was going to college and swore I'd never be in the chicken business. Yeah. And about 10 years ago, I got an opportunity to start back over. Yeah. And here we are. You know, we got our first batch of broilers in January of 13. Really? Yeah. So how early would we say your private label eggs? We were real big in the uh, mid 70s on up to the uh, uh, early 70s, really on, on up to the late really? 70s. And about that time, corn prices skyrocketed. And we had a huge cholesterol scare. Eggs will kill you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and you would not believe what it did to the market. Really? And we were one of the few independents that, sure. was, that was still around. So, you and, paid the price first. Yes. Just at that time, you know, everybody left the farm. Sure. And so we just closed it down and they they split everything in half and, you know, no more eggs, no mm. more chickens. So in 2013, you got your first broilers back. Mm -hmm. So in your reflection, looking back at before you went off to college, mm -hmm. what would you say the biggest, some of the biggest changes you've seen, at least in the poultry industry, since growing eggs and now you're doing broilers? You know, it's, it's apples and oranges. It's yeah. just completely different, and it's light years in difference. When we had the, the the egg business, we had two kinds of technology. We had a time clock to cut the water on and off yeah. and a time clock to cut the lights on and off. And that was it. <laughs> and now these houses are run by computer, and you know, I, I wish my dad and uncle were alive to see it. Yeah. You can get, you get notifications on your oh, phone, yeah. and yeah. you can adjust it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet that is crazy. Yeah. You about to get your first flock of antibiotic free. That's correct. And here we are in 2021. A lot of these integrators have been ABF for probably three and four years now. Right. So you about to get your first batch. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing that we've had all these other people before us yeah. that we can learn from. Absolutely, yeah. And what we need to do, and and it'll be a challenge, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, the end of the world by no means. Right. You know, because. You know, if you take care of their basic needs, mm -hmm. they should be healthy. That's what we believe. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, like you said, I see that they've made some progress over the last three or four years. Because I remember when some of these first integrators, when it first came down, it was like, I mean, trying whatever to mm -hmm. try and do. And that's where I think we actually started taking off a little bit because that was kind of our premise is, Use probiotics in there and use building the immune system. Let's make the mm -hmm. bird healthy and right. help its own natural defenses. So so how long has this property been in your family? Because you said you were born in the house over here. Yeah, that house was built in the early 1900s. And uh, I was, uh, you know, raised in that house. My parents moved in that house in the early 50s. Yeah. My dad passed away and mom remarried and moved out in... Uh, early 90s and my wife and I moved in and we've raised our family there and still here. How about that? How much longer do you think you're going to do it? As long as I'm able. Yeah, you just, yeah. you love it, you like it? I just like watching them grow. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just the actual bird, just yeah. helping them grow. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's going to tell you I love being at home and yeah. you're somewhat your own boss. Everybody answers to somebody. Sure. Yes. 
but we have a, a great company that, that uh, we work with. We couldn't ask for better. You know, it's just time consuming. You're always, always on call, but I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, Joy, I appreciate you taking the time with us mm -hmm. and um, sharing us a little insight. And it's always cool because it's kind of a dying breed <laughs> when somebody who's been, you know, in it from the kids, right. you know, and right. uh, a lot of people aren't going into farming, which mm -hmm. is just, and I don't blame them. There's a lot of issues going on, but man, my hat's off to the people who are, I mean, you're the kind of people that make this world, that feed this world. So, you know. We appreciate all of our, what our growers do. So anyway, thanks for taking the time Thank with you. us today. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, our time with Joey today and maybe learned something or at least was entertaining to hear some of the stories. But anyway, if you have any questions or even if you have any ideas of ways we can help you with a video, some questions or some topics that might help, feel free to give me a call, 1-800-608-3755, or you can email me alan at southlandorganics.com and until then god bless you and hope this flock is a great one